Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Artilleries are the god of war and when you add mobility to it they are invincible simply because they can save themselves from counter artillery fire. Today we are going to talk about one such artillery developed indigenously in Pune. Garuda 105V2 is an ultra lightweight go anywhere gun. It fires 105 mm 37 caliber artillery shell with 360 degree firing capability. It has been indigenously designed and developed by Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited KSSL. It's a truly go anywhere gun as it is an ultra lightweight mobile gun system weighing under 5.5 ton. However, weight of the gun is less than 1 ton. Usually, a 105 mm gun weighs close to 3 tons, but KSSL has managed to bring it down to 900 kgs, which is a remarkable achievement and shows their expertise in metallurgy. The major component of a gun is its barrel, bridge, and recoil system. Rest all other components are just bells and whistles. These three components, which actually determines the durability and reliability of a gun, is a real test of metallurgy which can only be achieved with the years of experience. Kalyani have capacity to produce one gun barrel every day and 300 per year which is a capacity not seen anywhere else in the world. Bharat Forge now stands as fifth largest forging company in the world. Incubated as a brainchild of the entrepreneur Baba Kalyani, now India is self-reliant in any type and caliber of artillery guns. So big thanks to Baba Kalyani to make India self-reliance in this sector where in past India heavily relied on export be it Bofors or M777. Now coming back to Garuda, the ultra lightweight artillery can be mounted on any in-service 4x4 wheeled chases like Tata 4x4 or even Humvee. In Defense Expo 2014, it was shown mounted on a Humvee. Garuda 105 utilizes high-end soft recoil technology. Now this technology is important because it provides reduced carriage loads allowing carriage structures to be up to 50% lighter than a conventional recoil system. This allows the gun to be placed on light vehicles and non-standard platforms including aircraft and coastal and river patrol watercraft. The Garuda will be a superior alternative to existing weapon system such as 106mm recoilless rifle, 120mm mortar and other 105mm artillery system due to its low cost precision strike capability. It was also developed and manufactured in record time of just 8 months. These guns, once inducted, can be a force multiplier for forward forces and will prove to be a complete game changer in the war. It's because of its shoot and scoot capability. The 105mm is the smallest gun. The Indian Army has almost 2000 guns of this caliber that are old British field gun. While the existing mountain 105 Indian field gun have an excellent range, they are not mobile. The gun need to be dug in after being towed making them sitting ducks for counter artillery fire. Garuda which does not have such limitation can be rapidly deployed and brought into action giving opposing fire no time to zero in. The feature like quicker emplacement, onboard fire control panel, electrically controlled elevation and traverse will give Indian army edge in the mountain warfare against its adversaries. The simplicity of system design reduces the crew size and decreases maintenance times. The gun can be operated by a crew of 4. It is go anywhere gun with a great ability of 30 degree. Garuda 105 V2 is ready for action in just 1.5 minutes during day and 2 minutes at night. The gun can fire high explosive and illumination rounds, rocket assisted projectiles, high explosives performed fragmented HEPF rounds and smoke cartridges. The gun system offers a range of 11.6 km with standard ammunition and 19.5 km with rocket assisted projectiles. It ensures a maximum range of 2000 m with direct fire rounds. The maximum rate of fire is 8 rounds a minute for 3 minutes 
while the sustained rate of fire of the gun is 3 rounds a minute. Garuda's digital fire control system integrates an inertial navigation system, a muzzle velocity radar system, a direct fire camera system, a GPS antenna, a display unit. It also features an optical fire control unit equipped with telescopic mount carrying a panoramic telescope. Indian Army has already carried out trials of this gun at high altitudes and many foreign countries have also shown interest into it. The gun has also undergone trials in United States. In the year 2020, Kalyani Group has sent two of its guns for trials to Saudi Arabia. The guns included are Bharat 52, a 155 mm 52 caliber towed howitzer, and Garuda V2. The Ministry of Defense has also assured the procurement of Garuda gun. In an interview with the Business World, when asked about the ATAGS induction, Baba Kalyani told that he expects the order of not only ATAGS but also Garuda by this year. Kalyani now has all types of gun needed for Indian Army. They have low weight, higher cost, higher weight, lower cost offerings and awaiting orders from our army. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.